So one to get the crowd stoked here at the Cardiff International Arena before the main event to come and Joe Cordina's attempt to regain the World Championship. It's an all Welsh battle for the British lightweight championship. Gavin Gwynn against Craig Woodruff do it all over again after their draw last September. Hotly disputed in terms of who won the fight. Can one of them make it more clear cut here this evening? Alongside me, Darren Barker and Barry Jones has made his way from Joe Cordina's dressing room to join us also here at ringside. It was such a closely fought contest the first time round. They had to do it again, obviously with the draw. A lot of people thought Woodruff won, but Gwyn had his moments in there as well. And it's who can dominate the space early in the fight, I think, it might uh, set the pattern to go on and win it. Gwyn said in the build-up, quite simply, he wants to make it ugly. Nice right hand to the body from Woodruff. The fight back with an uppercut and spun off, confusing Gavin Gwyn. Who I do feel when I look at Woodruff, I feel he needs to target the body with the straight shots first. Low guard, he fires shots from the hip, Woodruff, but tends to lean back with his chin up, so target the body for the straight shots first, then work back upstairs, but moving nicely. Speaking to Gavin Gwynn in the hotel as well when he said that I won that first fight by two, three rounds, he feels. And he broke his hand, I think he really injured his hand in the fir third round, so he feels he's just got too much for Woodruff. Yeah, in terms of that first fight down, two of the judges had it level, but one of them did have Gwyn winning by three. And we saw and heard there from Luke Pierce in the corner of Craig Woodruff, the nephew of the British heavyweight champion David Pierce, the Welsh Rocky as he's known, and Luke was instrumental in the funding of a statue of his uncle. Three really good long solid right hands there from Gwyn. Woodruff took it well, but it just again they're scoring shots and the pressure on coming forward. And as Luke was saying in the corner, you're turning it, but you're not throwing the punches back. You're making the you're making the right moves, but not not capitalising on that on those mistakes. And Woodruff shaking his head at the end of that previous round, the second, as if to say the shots didn't hurt, but that was an admission that they did land. He's trying to mix fire with fire. Woodruff trying to keep his work rate as high as Gwyn's, because he's going to have to to win this fight. He's got to be busy. That's one of Gwyn's strengths, as you see again, just really, really does have a fantastic engine. Works away, low guard on the ropes from Woodruff. Got to be careful. Again, this is where you call him for the angled Barry, just again in front of his man, Gwyn. Having success, but you just find more openings, didn't you, when you're skipping either side? Yeah, just opens the body up, and then you've got a, you've got a clear path into the middle of the elbows, haven't you, quite often? He just wants, it's just brute strength, isn't it? He did this with Sean McComb in Bolton a few years ago, just, just got out, smothered him, and just slowly beat him up. Gwyn has had good success with the right uppercut and occasionally also with the left hook in these close quarter exchanges. Nice click uppercut from Woodruff in his own corner, that red corner. He'd be happy with this, Gwyn, I feel. He's got his man where he wants him. He has taken a couple of shots, but this is real dominant display at the minute from Gwyn pushing his man back, pinning him in that red corner. Better from Woodruff and firing off as well. But he, he, I was thinking, you've got, to, you've got to be thinking, I can't just sit in the corner here, even though the punch is not hurting, they expect to be winning the round. Good shot. Yeah, what he has in his artillery, as far as defence is concerned, Woodruff is, he, you know, he is hard to pin down when he moves, but. When he's here, I mean, look, he's playing into to Gwyn's hands here. This is exactly what Gavin Gwyn wants. He wants his man pinned in the corner, pinned on the rope. That's where he's got him right now. 
good round for Gavin Gwynn. from Woodruff firing back with some short shot uppercuts inside for most of them in the gloves from both men nice right hook from Woodruff into the rope, you've got to have your hands high, he's just got them low, don't get me wrong, he's firing back with his own shots, but he's making this a little bit too easy for, for Gwyn. This is better, moving away, stepping, right hook. And swivelling in the way that Barry suggested, but Gwyn is trying to apply the pressure. We need to see more uppercuts from Woodruff, he's got his head low, Gwyn, he's arched right over that front foot. Put the foot on the pedal here, haven't they? We're we'll messing around. Again, showing that he can take the shot. There's no need for that. And take these are good far. scoring shots for Gavin Gwynn here with half a minute to go in the fourth round. And he opens up as Woodruff finally responds. Shows a bit more here, Woodruff. Just getting out works. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's letting his hands go, but the more scoring shots are coming from Gavin Gwynn. Chops down with that right hand. That was a good shot. And again, he's just allowed to work as he backs and Woodruff into the red corner. Landing freely now from Gavin Gwynn, closing seconds of the fourth. Into the fifth round we go, the fight. The all Welsh affair for the British lightweight championship. Gavin Gwynn and Craig Woodruff. They fought to a draw last September. Gwynn on top so far tonight. It was a nice cuffing right hook from Woodruff in the centre ring. He really started this round. But he threw the right hand, then he moved the round yeah. to his right as well. So that made Gwynn, but he, I said, but he's all too far over his front foot at times. Made him fall forward a little bit. More of a positive start from Woodruff in this round. But again, like the previous round, get backed up into a corner. He needs to work his way out of here. But he's done the work, and this is where he got to get out. He's made the effort, he's stopped him from working, and that's when you get your escape route. A lot of those shots from Woodruff in the corner, landing on the forearms and on the gloves of Quinn who still presses forward relentlessly. Good work from Gwyn. It looks like he's wooing here a bit, Woodruff. Not Woodruff coming back from out. anything. Body shot got through, and the uppercut as well. And Gwyn now senses that he's got his man under severe pressure. Halfway stage of round five. Referee Michael Alexander taking a very close look here as Woodruff tries to fire back. Another right hand from Gwyn. Shots raining in from all angles, body shots, uppercuts, hooks. Need a response from Woodruff, he's gamely firing back, lands a right hand, but getting pushed back into the corner. And there's a laboured look now about Craig Woodruff, and Michael Alexander steps in, and Gavin Quinn's fans go wild here in the international arena. 
It was so close, they couldn't be separated last time. This time, Gavin Gwynn has taken it out of the hands of the judges and scored a brilliant inside the distance success. And look what it means to him, still the British champion.